Hi guys, Level Up here. Today I'm bringing you something a little bit different, which was inspired by a video I saw on another quite popular channel, where certain claims were made about a specific build combination that just weren't true. It was quoted as being a 100% health regen build, specifically for face tanking, where the whole premise of the build was built around the fact that a certain combination of gear items was going to give you 100% health regen all of the time, even when under fire. And then when I commented to explain that in fact that wasn't quite true, it seemed that people still wanted to blindly disagree and just take the guy's word as gospel. Yeah I know, welcome to the internet right? I'm not going to name names um, because I don't stand for any of that at all and in general I think the channel is really good anyway. I just wanted to put this video out there to clearly demonstrate the way health regen works and specifically a combination of two gear sets. And these two gear sets in question are the two-piece Alpha Bridge and three-piece Nomad, which for anyone who doesn't know, two-piece Alpha Bridge gives 100% health regen and three-piece Nomad gives Nomad's Resolve, which grants a constant small amount of healing, allowing you to regenerate health across all of your health segments while you're still in combat. So in theory, that all sounds great. But it seems there's clearly some confusion around how health regen works that makes this combination of bonuses completely useless in a face tanking build, which is what it was being used for. So I just wanted to dispel that myth and the misconception that the three piece Nomad bonus allows you to be constantly regenerating your health 100% of the time with no cooldown, which is a direct quote from the video. So let's start off with how, th how health regen actually works when you're in combat. For the purposes of this demonstration I've put both the three piece Nomad and two piece Alpha Bridge gear sets on so both of those bonuses are active. So when you take any damage from any source there's a cooldown period of five seconds where you don't regenerate any health at all. After this cooldown, you will start to regenerate health until the next time you take any additional damage. So what this means is, if you are taking damage from any source at least once every 5 seconds, then you will never regenerate any health. So even with this 2 piece alpha bridge and 3 piece nomad combination, you will not be regenerating any health. I mean, you can obviously heal via other means, such as medkits, first aid, and health on kill bonuses, but you will not be regenerating your health. So with that, you can kind of understand how that will be completely useless when used in a face tanking build, because you're going to be taking damage much more frequently than once every five seconds if you're running around in the enemy's face. So you can see from the footage that once I stop taking damage and allow myself that 5 seconds to heal, I can in fact start to regenerate health quite quickly, due to the Alpha Bridge 100% healing speed bonus. And it's going to continue to heal across all my health segments thanks to the 3 piece Nomad. So when you're in combat and taking damage, you'll see that my health bar is flashing green every second, and that's there to indicate that health trickle from the 3 piece Nomad. But as you can see, it's completely negligible in terms of ability to actually heal you in combat when you're taking fire. Its only use is to allow your standard health regen to heal you across all your segments once you've stopped taking fire. Now, there are a couple of high-end pieces which combine quite nicely with this, and one of those is the rarely used Steadfast Holster. What this does is half that health regen cooldown period of 5 seconds when you're in cover. So you can see here, when I'm under fire and duck into cover, it now only takes me about 2.5 seconds for the health regen to kick in. And if I stay in cover here, I can regenerate my full health bar quite quickly. So this can be a nice build combination for PvE if you play cover based style and treat the game like a tactical shooter. If you run and gun and want to face tank the NPCs, then obviously, as stated before, this combination is not going to be much use. So in my opinion, the Steadfast Holster is still nowhere near as strong as something like Nimble. And I'd like to see a lot of these high-end pieces buffed in 1.8. I mean, how good would this holster be if rather than halving the health regen cooldown period, it completely removed it? So as soon as you duck into cover, you start to get immediate health regen. 
Obviously that's only going to work in your current segment unless you're running that three piece nomad in which case it will regen across all segments. So I think that would be pretty good. I think it would be pretty well balanced and I certainly would think it would be a nice decent alternative to Nimble. So the other high end piece that combines well with these other bonuses is the even more rarely used Enduring Mask. So I used this a lot back in 1.5 when Alpha Bridge was a meta because it gave me a huge amount of sustain when I was in my last health segment. So that allowed me to take advantage of certain talents like Unforgiving which gives you that 25% damage boost when you're in your last health segment. So if you don't know what Enduring does is it completely removes that health regen cooldown as soon as your health dips into the final segment. So as soon as it does you get a constant double speed health regen due to Alpha Bridge in that last health bar and that can really make the difference between life and death in many situations. So you can see here as soon as my health gets low it regenerates immediately to fill up that last health bar and then again because of Nomad that little three piece trickle allows us to keep continuing regenerating our health through to the full, uh, full bar. But again, I think it would be quite cool to see a buff to this, because again, nobody really uses it. So maybe have this apply across the last two health bars, so that you've got a little bit more of a, of a health regen build that's viable. I mean, health regen in this game is not very significant, so I think it would be quite nice to have some decent high-end talents that combine quite nicely with that Alpha Bridge two-piece bonus. But that's pretty much it. I mean, the footage speaks for itself. I mean, I've covered these two points. I don't want to labour on it, to be honest, because it, it should be quite obvious. And I'm sure many of you are already well aware of it. But like I say, there are a lot of people and a lot of comments in the other video that, that show that there's clearly some confusion around the subject. So, yeah, if you thought you'd, if you'd been misled by information you'd seen elsewhere, then hopefully you found this useful. Well, that's it for me guys, thanks so much for watching as always and I'll see you next time.